And Nick, you know, I was up in uh, the Sierra several times this past week, and a lot of people, they're excited for this snow that's going to be come or that came in. Mm -hmm. But it just, uh, you know, was it need, enough? you know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people are optimistic mm -hmm. about it, but it sounds like we need a little bit more to get things going. Yeah, long way to go, right? And, uh, you know, over the course of the next week or so, we'll have a couple of more snow chances in place. I don't really see anything significant over the next four or five days. However, as we get toward the latter part of this coming week, there's uh, some things we're looking at uh, that could bring in some healthy snowfall amounts across the higher Sierra. So we'll walk you through that here in a bit. Uh, right now, things are quiet with mainly clear skies. Chilly, though. Temperatures will be on their way down to the upper 30s again tonight. We do have some clouds to our north. Rainfall coming in across the, uh, the Cascades at this hour, coming across the Pacific Northwest. That's the next system that will be swinging south of through our area later tomorrow. And it's not going to be a very strong system. It's going to be actually fairly weak. Just a broken line of showers coming in late tomorrow. We start off the day with some sunshine tomorrow, but the clouds will fill in as the afternoon progresses. And then as we get after about three, four, five o'clock, the rain chances will increase across the valley. We'll start to see some snow coming back in place over the Sierra during the evening hours into parts of the night. But by the time Monday morning rolls around, this system is out of here and we're really looking at minor rainfall amounts. Some areas won't even get any showers. Others will get a couple hundreds of an inch, and that's about it. Up in the Sierra above 6,000 feet, ranging from no snow at all to two inches of accumulation. I say that because the snow levels are rising. So some areas close to 6,000 feet will be spotty uh, and that the passes could see a, another inch or two as a result of the uh, fast moving system coming in tomorrow night. The big story beside that, the cold weather, right? Feeling that when you're stepping outside, no doubt about that. Temperatures mid 50s now tonight. Yeah, it's going to be chilly. Temperatures back into the mid 30s. 35 Wilton tonight, 35 in Galt. You head down to the south across uh, parts of the San Joaquin Valley and temperatures running into the 30s, close to 40 degrees. The foothills into the 30s, teens and 20s overnight for the Sierra. Again, with mainly clear skies as we start off the day. And then we're going to see those temperatures recover back to about 60 degrees. So still running well below our averages this time of year. Our average high is in the mid 60s. Any signs of some widespread rainfall or some decent snow for the Sierra comes with this. We have a pattern coming in place later next week. This is coming in next Thursday, Friday. We have a ridge of high pressure to the south. You have an area of low pressure to the north. And this setup is one that you get for an atmospheric river situation. All right, so we're looking for that really for the Pacific Northwest. But some of the recent indications suggest that we may start to see a further southward movement with that. So therefore, by next Friday into Saturday, we're going to see a return to more rain chances. The question is, do we get the round of some heavy precipitation, widespread rain? Well, at this point, we're thinking by Friday to Saturday, especially, we'll see the rain coming in. It kind of hovers just north of us for a few days, Wednesday, Thursday. But once we get into the weekend, we'll see that moving down to the south. And uh, areas across the north coast would pick up significant amounts of rain. And then as you get to the Sacramento Valley southward, the uh, amounts really drop off. Well, something to watch, Brady, at least in the days ahead. Wow, it's the first time I'm hearing the atmospheric river oh, yeah. the term this year. So interesting stuff. All right, Nick, thank you.